trying to show me? What I'm stopping to. Pardon? What I'm stopping to. I asked you for your driver's license and you show me a picture yeah. of J. Cole. Oh, I'll give you my driver's license, sorry. Okay, miss, step out the car, I need to speak with you. Why are you showing me a map? That's where I was stopping. Okay, what did I ask you for? You told me to stop, right? Okay, okay. I'm investigating now for drink driving. Your driving was terrible. You went through two stop signs. You threw garbage out the window. And then I asked you for your driver's license. You show me a picture of Apple Music. I asked you again for your driver's license. You show me a picture of a map. Do you have a driver's license, yes or no? I have a driver's license. And where is it? Look. What are you trying to show me? Okay, like you under arrest. You're drunk. You got a kid in the car, for God's sake. Same here, I shot my dad when I was 14. Don't regret it. Although I'm happy for others on Father's Day, I don't feel the need to celebrate it. I'm sorry, did you just admit to murder on here? No, he didn't die until a few days later, so no, it's it's not murder. That's not that's not how that works. But that's exactly how that works. The fact that you just admitted to killing your father on Twitter just goes to show how terrible Twitter is and how dumb you are. Just because someone dies a few days later after your actions doesn't absolve you of the responsibility of ending that person's life. You're still a murderer. What the f did this really just happen on this platform? To the thieves who robbed straight from the heart. We are a nonprofit resource center for foster children. You have robbed a place that helps children who cannot be parented by their own families due to substance abuse problems. We are volunteers who care for your children until you're sober, healthy, and ready to be a mom and dad. You have stolen from your own children, and those children in the community have lost so much. Their families, homes, toys, beds, and neighborhoods. We cannot afford to pay for more doors, windows, and locks to replace the money and the items you stole from us. There will come a day when we will close our doors because of you. Foster parents of North County. I bet if people put more signs up like that after they've been attacked, after they've been robbed, a lot of people would understand the need to change like criminality in their own communities because I've seen similar signs like that around my area where people talk about how you just robbed a local grocery store who you know has low prices and is family owned and is meant to make sure that everybody in the community can have access to healthy food and you just rob them for what a couple hundred dollars I've seen similar signs and messages left on bookstores that talk about how they have super low prices and make sure that people can have access to read but you just robbed us so we might have to close the robbers might not care but the community does and that's more than enough incentive to encourage a community to change to try to find ways to stop crime caught on camera an uber eats driver on delivery call in studio city is seen picking up a man's beloved cat hog and placing it in the back of her car before walking out of frame to finish her food delivery the cat has not been returned oh so that's how we tip uber eats drivers now with stolen pets this is a no better sign for all of my pet owners to make sure that you get your dog or cat micro microchipped so that you can find them. This poor cat is alone and scared somewhere because this crusty woman wanted a friend. Or worse, wanted to sell the cat or use the cat as bait in dog fights. I hope the pet owner captured the Uber Eats driver's face and identification because you can easily get that on the app and was able to report this to the police because this poor cat needs to come home. Closed because someone sh** on the floor. Wow, people are taking sh** in Starbucks now? That's, that's what people are doing? How does that happen in public? How do you have the stealth or the boldness to pull your pants down and take a dump on the floor? I feel sorry for everybody in that store because everyone was just trying to drink some coffee or act pretentious and they had to see that. They are traumatized. They had to see you take a dump on the floor for some wild reason. We won't know because this was an anonymous attack. Trans woman, 54, who used public Wi-Fi to access CP from hospital bed, is jailed for nine months after police find a hoard of 80,000 images on laptop, as authorities decide whether to send her to a male or female prison. 80,000 images, 80,000 individual files. I don't think I have more than a thousand files scattered across maybe multiple computers, let alone one computer. How does someone that sick encounter so much perverse content that you were able to amass tens of thousands of images of abuse 
of children. That is insane. Jesus, and this is a dumb problem. Oh, what prison to send him to? How about send him to the most violent prison you can find in your area? Is it female? Great. If it's, if it's male, fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I could care less. The fact that this person is still breathing oxygen is causing my blood to boil. So no, I don't care what prison they go to. All I care about is if they're going to die at some point. Enjoy cleaning the urine, you minimum wage loser. I meant it when I said no mustard on my sandwich. Okay, so I cropped it in a way where you just see the wall in the toilet because there is a full tilt stream being shown in this image, and I don't want to show you guys that. There's no genitalia, but it's a really, really dark stream. This guy is either extremely unhealthy or extremely dehydrated. And it makes sense. I don't expect someone who is this awful to also know how to take care of themselves. So hey, keep not drinking water, because at least you'll die and you won't be a scourge on the planet anymore. Hey, you want to hear another fancy restaurant crazy customer story? Great, because I've got so many already. So the other night this couple comes in and they're on a date and it's really cute and they're dressed all fancy and they sit down at a table and they're having a great time and then this guy sitting across from them starts filming the woman. When she notices she starts freaking out like insane screaming at the top of her lungs. This guy is filming her and she doesn't know him. So the managers come over and they're trying to sort it out and this guy won't leave. He's swearing he knows the woman and the woman's like I'm not even from here. What are you talking about? And he's like no I know you. And the managers were like sir even if you do know her you still can't film somebody without their permission we're gonna have to ask you to leave and he's like no I know this woman this woman is my best friend's wife and she's on a date right now cheating on him so I'm sending him a video it turns out that this woman flew all the way across the country to go on a date with this guy so that her husband wouldn't find out that she's cheating on him and she happens to be seated right next to his best friend a four-year-old in Colorado died from the flu this week, days before his mom reached out to Facebook's biggest anti-vax group. Members told her not to take the Tamiflu a doctor had prescribed, but to give him oils and elderberries and put potatoes in his socks. So that's just murder, right? She's gonna go to prison for neglect and murder. There is no other lens to look at this issue through. You just killed your kid because of your beliefs, your very, very incorrect, uneducated beliefs. Attention, we are very understaffed and we're very sorry for delays and inconveniences and we're doing our very best to get your prescriptions ready timely. Please do not yell at the staff. We have, we need them and so do you. Thank you. Who gets mad over prescriptions other than junkies? I have never been into a pharmacy where people are shouting for their medicine. It's always a calm space. So if you're really yelling at workers to get your pills fast, I'm going to automatically assume that you're a junkie and that you're just trying to get another fix. Beijing 2022, China will seriously sanction any country that boycotts Winter Olympics, says state-backed media chief. Wow, so you're holding a gun to everybody's head, right? We have to participate with you even though you throw people into concentration camps and your president Xi Jinping is essentially a dictator because he completely wiped out term limits for his role in government. China is a lot like that one kid in elementary school who's a menace to everyone, but because their mom donates to the school or is a part of the PTA, he has to be involved in everything from birthday parties, class trips, any sort of engagement, even though they're a menace, even though they suck as a person, they have to be involved because their mom will throw a hissy fit. Yeah, China's a lot like that kid and these sanctions are the fucking mom. This clip is just domestic violence. The guy posted this onto his TikTok account for some help. Hopefully he's outside of this relationship. My speaker? Broken. Why'd you break it? Why did you leave without saying anything to me? Well, you're calling me an asshole, and so I well, left. Well, you left and didn't say shit to me, and you ignore me, so what? I break your speaker. That's crazy. Okay, at least it wasn't your Xbox or your TV. Who gives a f dude? I don't give a f about any of that stuff. I was literally slamming. I I want you to know that I was slamming all that shit so hard on the ground like 10 times that it's it's all broken all of it's broken because because i left because you're calling me because an you left and didn't say shit to me and then you ignore me and, and act like that's okay that's an okay thing to do it's okay to walk out of a toxic situation definitely it's not okay to ignore your girl
Hello, I'm a PETA member, and my next door neighbor is blind and has a seeing dog. I had the dog picked up and put out of its enslavement. How do I convince her that she was exploiting a fellow creature and that now he's out of his misery? You just robbed a blind man of the closest thing he can get to vision. That dog is not enslaved. It's trained to help him in ways more than picking up a remote or helping him walk through a building and not stumble into things. That dog prevents him from being injured and also knows how to get help if he injures himself. And you deprived that blind man of all of that because of your personal political beliefs. And you're going on Korra to ask if you did the right thing? I want to say that this is a manifestation of your guilt because if you were right, if you were certain about your decisions, you wouldn't be asking anyone if it was okay. There's a part of you inside that recognizes how awful you are, so you go out of your way to find some sort of affirmation for your own decisions and your choices. You need someone to say that this is okay because I bet you can see your neighbor suffering because of your decisions. I don't know if there's jail time for what you did, but I'm almost certain he can sue you. Thank God you posted this online so that everybody can see and everybody can screenshot. $1,000 reward. Urgent. Please share this all over Atlanta. My friend's car was stolen at the Fresh Market in Buckhead right in front of them with their 11-week-old male puppy. The puppy was too young to microchip. Everyone is worried sick. The puppy is more important than the car. Reward with no questions asked. The car was wrecked in a high-speed chase last night off of Bankhead, but no puppy. If anyone you know suddenly has a pug puppy, please contact me here. So I just got done with her nails and she handed me a $10 bill, y'all. Look at her nails. Look at her nails, y'all. Look at her nails. Y'all can't even see, but her nails was worth $60. Why would you come? Ma'am. And she walking out on my set. Like, if you broke, just say that. If you if you didn't have enough money, just say that, ma'am. It's okay, because I'm finna get your license plate. Like, you was really just broke. Like, if you, why would you bring $10 to a nail appointment? Why? It's okay because they got your Facebook name, all of that, so you can go ahead and leave. You lucky I don't call the police on you, ma'am. Get out the car. I'm not finna stop. Okay, so this next story is just the headline alone is nuts. I don't think I have to say anything afterward. It's just awful. It's... God, I can't imagine being this unlucky and this unfortunate to experience something like this. Sex attack horror. Pregnant woman, 25, was raped, then abducted and ganged by three other men who she approached for help. What is going on in Greece? And apparently these are the four guys who have participated in all of this. This woman will probably never trust a soul again. In her worst moment, she reached out for help and people committed more violence against her. That is insane. I really hope that they throw the book at these people and send them under the fucking prison. What the hell? You ever just bring your bikes to the beach so that you can ride on the beach and hang out with your girlfriend and then come back after you lock up your bikes to find both of your seats have been stolen? People are stealing bike seats. This is equivalent or slightly less worse than finding your car without wheels. I've heard so many stories and seen so many images of people who walk outside in the morning to find their car jacked up on some cinder blocks without any wheels. And I would think to myself, just steal my car. Why would you take the wheels? Like, if you're gonna rob me, take everything. Don't just leave me with a machine that's essentially useless. But I totally understand why people steal wheels because they're extremely expensive. I get that's probably easier and more valuable than just stealing the car outright. But damn, is that awful. And I guess the same economics applies to bike seats, apparently, because that's some strange theft. Or people just want to be evil and want to ruin someone else's bike. Who knows? Who knows, the maniac who did this is long gone. So basically, uh, we had these Xfinity guys who are working on this manhole here, and some douchebag came out with his Camaro ran over the cone, ran over one of the guys halfway. The dude tried to get up and tell him and knock on the car to tell him, get him to stop. He kept driving. He ran over his other, ex ex his other Xfinity buddy, fucking completely ran his friend over. His head was halfway in the fucking manhole and he's probably got a fractured fucking, you know, he's probably got a fractured. And you know what this dude fucking says? He says, 
he says, can I just get your information? Because, like, I'm with my family and I'm tr I need to leave. And his whole excuse for running them over was that he had his family in the car. <laughs> Hope they cook it. Okay, so this Snapchat thread is from a young woman who's upset that her father is bringing a friend over to the house. Let's read what she has to say. Fucking kill myself. Dad asked me if I wanted to go to dinner tonight, and I said yes, and of course he has to bring his fucking Mexican friend. This is so awkward. Can the Mexican leave? Ugh, nice Mexican friend. He's probably gonna me. Oh, wow. Wow, the hatred. Look, people are allowed to be racist. People are allowed to have their opinions on other races. The funny thing about it, though, is that you can't be mad when you voice it publicly and people disagree with your statement, especially if your statement is as foul as this. Just because he's Mexican doesn't mean he's going to rape you, bitch. Feel free to be racist in private. Feel free to be racist in small groups. But as soon as you put that shit online or put that shit in public, don't get upset when people screenshot it and be like, bruh, you're racist. You're wrong for that. That's bad. You're a bad person. You can't be upset about that. And you know what? It's super cowardly, too. The fact that you went out of your way to take a, a candid picture of him and post this onto your personal Snapchat because you can't voice your feelings in person because you know they're bad and you know that someone's going to jump down your throat for it speaks volumes about your character. Take it from me, Panda Daddy. If you're going to be racist, this is my opinion. You better be bold about it. You better say what you mean and say how you really feel. Don't take pictures of people and be a little bitch online. You can't be racist and a pussy too. That's just extra lame. If you're gonna be racist, be bold about it. At least at that point, you're sticking to your principles. This just shows that you're a scared little bitch who doesn't like Mexican people and you know for a fact that if you voice that shit, people would fucking hate you. Hello to you. Special thanks for getting in contact with my 19-year-old stepdaughter and threatening to track her address and kidnap her because I haven't uploaded a video in a while. That's a nice thing to do. Very polite. It is a strange and very scary thing when people forget that the content creators that they watch online are people too with their own lives. Thank God my fan base is full of high IQ beautiful people who don't do this, who don't threaten me if I don't upload for two weeks, who just wait patiently for the inevitable content dump that happens at the end of every month. I don't know why I do this. I, <laughs> I do this to myself, really. It's not even your fault. I just, for some reason, feel like, oh, if I don't upload for two weeks, I gotta just unload every fucking video that I haven't made. But I digress. This entire situation happens way too often. I've seen so many similar tweets like this, and it's just disturbing. I thought you liked the content creator. Why would you go out of your way to threaten their child or threaten them personally because you're not getting content? Jesus, how entitled can you be? Tell me your mom shouldn't be a mom without telling me your mom shouldn't be a mom. Okay, so first off, my mother is dead. Uh, she died a year ago, so anything I say really does not have any effect on her at this point in time. My mom would take me to her drug deals when I was like six, walk me into these crack houses with people literally doing drugs, shooting up, and I would just be like, ooh, this is fun. <laughs> Uh, my mom would take me to the grocery store like every Thursday. Uh, she would drop me off and she would be like, go in and steal as much as you can because we cannot afford to put food on the table. I would have to wear two puffy ass winter jackets to go in and steal food from the grocery store. I came home one day to my mom looking up ways on how to kill herself. Um, I threw her phone, shattered it. Uh, she swung at me, gave me two black eyes. I beat the fuck out of her. I pulled a lot of her hair out uh, and busted her lip and about broke her nose. And yeah, that was when I was like 11. Uh, my mom was too high one time when we were driving and I was like 12 and she passed out behind the wheel and I had to drive us home and we were like 20 minutes away on the highway. Who wants a part two? Okay, for this next post, I had to go out of my way to censor it a little bit. You wouldn't have seen anything otherwise, but just because this person went out of their way to embarrass him, I didn't want to do that too. This video usually gets a lot of views and I don't want to further the fucking bullying. It's awful. I met up with this guy from Tinder. He was a really nice guy. We literally only kissed once, no touching. Then he got this big wet patch on his pants. I laughed, took a photo, just playing with him, not malicious. Then he said he had to go and unmatched with me. What the fuck? Is that normal for you guys? Hey Claire, it's kind of obvious from your tweet that you're not a thinker. You don't read and you're on the left side of that IQ bell curve. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what happened to this guy. After kissing you, your Tinder date experienced premature ejaculation. Something that is normal but doesn't happen with every guy. It's very embarrassing. 
because who wants to just mess up their pants, especially if they're just kissing someone? It's gross, humiliating, awful, and embarrassing all at the same time, and guys who struggle with it typically get made fun of because of it, because it's embarrassing. And you, at the drop of a hat, went out of your way to take pictures of him, not just his face, but also of his crotch, and made fun of him on Twitter for everyone to see. 37 people and 8 other people who retweeted saw. He unmatched with you and left you because he was embarrassed and probably upset that you made fun of him. If you and other women in the audience don't understand why that's embarrassing, the equivalent would be you guys starting your period when you didn't expect it and then having your date or your boyfriend clown on you about it. You didn't have a tampon, you didn't have a pad, and now you're ruining your clothes and you can't run away from that moment. You're just sitting there. And I'm almost certain you wouldn't want someone to clown on you and take a picture of your crotch and put that online. I'm almost certain if a dude did do that, he would be dragged through the street. And the worst part about all of this is that you know that you were wrong. You immediately posted this online and said, I was just playing with them. I'm not being malicious. Like every bully, you knew you were being mean, but you're looking for that affirmation. You're looking for that confirmation from other people that you were an asshole. You know that you were terrible. You know that you did a bad thing. You know that you hurt his feelings. He probably didn't cry or show really any sort of emotion with you. He probably just got up and walked away and unmatched with you. But in that moment, he will never forget the type of embarrassment you've done to him. You're a terrible person, and it's ironic that you're aware of that. You know that you're crappy. Okay, so these next posts are going to expose my ignorance around soccer or football. I do know there was a big game between England and Germany, and these next tweets are from the English, and they're just so foul. And they're all about this same little girl who's crying because her nation lost the football game. Like, look at these posts. Cry more, slut? She's 10. Next, I've never in my life been prouder to be English when I heard a pub full of people erupt into cheers after seeing a 10-year-old German girl crying in the crowd. Oh my god. Keep crying, cry some more. That German kid's tears has made my night. Fuck you, you little woo. Look, I get excited about sports too, but this is just bullying. You're just making fun of a little girl at this point. She doesn't understand that it's just a, you know, game. She's upset because her team lost and you guys went out of her way to call her a <laughs> Jesus Christ. This next clip shows a guy stealing and robbing from a store in broad daylight. Wyoming man accused of using a blowtorch and killing of a two-year-old boy. Accused, so there hasn't been a conviction, yet somehow this guy looks like the type. I can't even imagine the situation that would lead up to something like this. A blowtorch. That is the epitome of personal. You really wanted to end that child's life in the world's worst way. I'm assuming this guy is sound of mind, but this sounds like mental illness. 100%. Hello, if you took my packages on apartment 302, whether by accident or on purpose, please return it, no questions asked. I'm physically disabled and rely on deliveries to obtain what I need. I can't shop in person. The clothes probably won't fit you and were purchased to attend a funeral for a colleague. The other items, an extension cord and some water flavoring may not seem like a big deal to you, but are important to me. Hope you'll give me a break, apartment 302. This next clip shows a guy harassing a homeless man by throwing food at him. Hey buddy, are you okay? Are you ODing? Want another Cheerio? You want more Cheerios? Okay, I'll give you some more. Do you want a Cheerio or not? It's just a Cheerio. No, 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 no. I'm trying to feed you. I know you're always hungry down there. This is the problem is that nobody's willing to stand up and feed these people. Like I'm willing, I'm willing to help out. 
Yo, who the hell wants to sleep with someone who's disabled? Certainly not me. I mean, you do you, but I have no problem finding people willing to sleep with me. <laughs> you got that weird hand thing and dudes are lining up? My fellow kings are down bad. Who are you fooling, bro? You want to fuck her. You want to fuck whoever you're talking to right now on Twitter. Whoever it is, the fact that you are even having this type of conversation goes to show that you want a simp. Anybody who acts like this, like, yo, bro, I would never fuck this bitch or what? You want to badly. You're just doing this to bolster your ego. I don't understand, bro. Just be honest that you find this girl hot, even if she has weird hands. Just be honest. You're like the guys who go out of their way to say that they're not gay. Get out of the closet, bro. Everybody knows you're gay. Everybody. Everybody knows that you want to fuck this girl with the weird hand thing. Everybody knows. It's so goddamn obvious. Drop the shit. A free thinker is Satan's slave. Time to go to a new church. Because that is very disconcerting. I don't know how you can be a free thinker and a slave at the same time. Can someone do the math for me? That makes no sense. There you go. This asshole has a camera up at an apartment complex and laid thumbtacks on the ground. Let's just take a look. So we got thumbtacks hidden everywhere around here in my fucking dog. Stepped on one. They're everywhere. He just dumped an entire thing of thumbtacks like everywhere so thank you sir for hurting the dogs here isn't this illegal y'all is it pretty sure it is thumbtacks literally everywhere nine-year-old danish boy forced to flee his father was punched in the stomach by england fans after the euro 2020 semi-final only it's only game why you have to be mad? This next clip shows a nurse going through the pockets and drawer of a patient while he's in his house. Please do not punch holes in our wall like this one. We are a veteran-owned and operated small business. If you feel the urge to punch something, please use our punching bags. P.S. If you like kicking as much as you like punching, consider signing up for our new kickboxing class. This clip shows police officers in South Africa looting a grocery store. Prosecutors, father fatally punched five-year-old boy upset that he ate his father's day cake. Don't call him a father. He's not one. That's not what dads do. 
Dads don't kill their kids, especially over something petty like Father's Day cake. Are you serious? And now look, you're in prison. I hope everybody in there finds out what you did and they kill you for it. How childish can someone be? How ruthless can someone be to kill a child over cake? Are you serious? This next clip shows a guy skiing through a queue just so he can get onto the ski lift first. He's shoving past kids and families just so he can get onto a ski lift. Oh my god, it's just back to back with this stuff. The sheriff's office said toxicology reports showed the child had measurable levels of cocaine in their body and further tests found amounts of cocaine in the feeding bottles. I get having children is a right and should be protected. There shouldn't be, you know, licensing for having kids, but god damn, some people really just shouldn't have children. Not only for the child's sake, but for their sake as well. How neglectful can you be to have cocaine in feeding bottles? How does that even get? Get in there! This next clip shows a woman on a plane refusing to disconnect internet, causing everyone to be deplaned because she won't follow the rules. Hey, Pam. Sorry, folks, we're gonna have to deboard you. Oh, oh, are you serious? Oh my god, oh, no. woman, get off the plane! Are you serious? We don't have time. No, for get days. off the folks, plane! Folks, please listen to the flight. No, board. we've been already on the Just plane for like an hour. Care of it. Thank you. Are you? Are you? Really? You suck! It's a fuck star, baby! It's a fuck star! Fuck fuck star! Sprinkle a little zoo pride on your day to make it better. Be happy about yourself today, my friends. You deserve it. Oh my god, and you know what you deserve? A stoning. We need to make this a spectacle. We need to make this an event. You want to throw a brick at a degenerate that wants to fuck dogs? Great. Put up a dollar, you get a brick. All money goes to a shelter when everything is over. Tell me the most sexist thing someone has ever said to you on a date. Okay, I'll go first because I have- I was on a date with this very beautiful spawn of Satan. And anyway, she decides to bring up her divorce in detail. And after about 30 minutes, I'm sitting there, you know, eating my pasta, trying to get through it because this is, this is not a fit at this point. And um, I asked, was he a good man? She said, yeah, he just worked all the time. So I said, I asked, well, was he good to his kids? There was two of them. Was he good to his kids? She said, yeah. She says, um, but to get what I want, I had to say he molested one of them. Completely thrown back by that. I, I just, I really didn't know what to say. And I said, I said, did your attorney know this? She said, yes, yeah, she's the one suggested that I say it. Master manipulator, 20 years old, is jailed for seven years for buying a rifle for 17-year-old Bumble date and watching him shoot himself dead. Not only was he dating and grooming a minor, but he also encouraged this minor to kill himself. And he gets seven years in prison for that? Okay, so according to the article, that is the maximum amount of time that he can get for manslaughter and assisted suicide in the state of Ohio. There were no charges that were dealing with the fact that he was talking to a 17-year-old on Bumble. But overall, this entire situation is ass. An innocent person died, and this piece of shit is going to get out of jail at some point. So yesterday, I ordered DoorDash, and this happened.
Jid took off his jacket and threw on a F King ski mask and sacked my food. Scammers are setting up fake online fundraisers in the wake of the Florida condo collapse disaster. Official warns. Every single disaster dude has these vultures. It doesn't matter how gruesome or how devastating, they will always try to make a quick buck off of people who just want to help. It's awful. It really fucks up goodwill because now nobody wants to donate because they're afraid of being scammed. But hey, there's websites that will point you to legitimate sites. You just have to look hard. Don't always click on the first link because those could actually be advertisements to the scams. This clip shows a bunch of people dumping garbage into the Amazon River. It's gonna happen. Say goodbye to kids. There it goes. Quantas uh, veces per dia? And our final post comes from the best website on the planet and provides the most content for this video, Twitter. White people culturally appropriated suicide. For some cultures, it was a respectful way to ensure life ends on a high note and not die of old age. Now it's taken by white depressed teens and is made to be something completely different. No better response. Suicide is bad regardless. Sorry that you live in a Western nation and live within Western culture that has reverence for life, especially lives of children and young people. It's not cultural appropriation to kill yourself, it's a tragedy. Every people group on the planet has suffered through depression and has killed themselves. It's a depressing and depraved fact of life for humanity. Depression has been with humans since the jump and it isn't something to gatekeep from other people. You can't say other people can't be depressed because they're X race or X gender. It doesn't make any sense. Stop it. The fact that literally everything is seen through a woke and critical worldview is insanely exhausting. You are not a good person if you say this. You're a piece of shit if you say this. If you go up to a suicidal white teen and you tell them this, if you say that they are culturally appropriating suicide and that they have no business doing it simply because they're white, you are a bad person person. If you go out of your way to teach other people that they have no business being sad because of their privilege or whatever the fuck, you're a bad person. Get off of Twitter, get offline, go outside, experience literally anything else because you have been online for too long. This statement is a product of your inadequate antisocial life online. Go outside, make some friends, be better. Instead of being a literal walking and talking eyesore, be a better person, develop yourself, get a character, get a personality, do anything else but this, you piece of shit. What's up everyone, it's your boy Aileris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed this video somehow, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam, what you doing watching videos and not subscribing, and if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. There's gonna be an additional upload today, and then all six double uploads will have been posted for this week. I know a lot of you guys have enjoyed this nice content dump. Uh, the next upload today will be a real banger. So make sure to keep your eye out for that, and make sure to be prepared for it. It's gonna be so good, it's gonna be so good, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it, because that would, that would spoil the surprise. And as always, I gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to Kiri the Soth, Light1636, Broken to Asters, Jackson, The Business, Lady Laughs a Lot, Brett, Mina the Swift, Isao Izuku, Destroyer, Trey, Muffy Lou Who, Noah Vermont, John Robinson, Eva, Catherine Taylor, Hannah, Will Billy, and Dustin. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description. One of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.